Hey guys, Dom and Ice here coming at you with another video. In today's video, well, it's going to be an upgrade to one of my older videos that I had. Actually, my highest rated video right now, which is my tutorial on how to install Gears of War for the PC. Now, this is for the classic edition of the game right now. So, if you have Gears of War, and or you want to play Gears of War, please, I would suggest that you buy the ultim Ultimate Edition, because even if it is a broken mess for some people, at least, for especially in the lower end specs, this is probably the best way to play the game right now, honestly. The way, the way that I'm going to be doing this, my original copy of the game is going to be different, because of the fact that this is now, I am currently on Windows 10. When I made this video last year, I was on Windows 8.1. So, I don't know exactly how it... It's just going to work, so I'm actually doing this off the cuff because I'm actually going to do it right now. I'm going to install Gears of War for the PC on my PC right now, actually, as soon as I find my file, actually. Because the thing, what I'm, what I'm considering about doing is I still have my game file. I still have, because what I did is the game still comes as a physical disc, at least the, the original game does. But I actually made a what they call an ISO or a virtual drive uh, file, basically, of it. So I was going to find where I put my stuff in here. Now, I, the way I did this the last time is I didn't do any kind of installations. I didn't do any of those kinds of things. I ended up just going for the game and try to install it myself. Now, in Windows 8 and above, uh, you can mount these virtual ISOs uh, directly through uh, the Microsoft Explorer, or the Microsoft Folder Explorer, basically. In my case, since I have to open it, because I have 7-Zip as my, apparently, the default as an example, but if you open Windows Explorer... The Gears of War folder, if you haven't just noticed, actually changes to the exe of the file. Now, if you look exactly in the, uh, if you look inside your My PC as an example, you can see it come as an actual disk. Obviously, if you don't have one of those kinds of disks, then you're kind, of, you have to go ahead and get something similar to this kind of this thing here called the Virtual Clone Drive. Now, this Virtual Clone, clone Drive basically emulates. What you just saw, what basically it emulates this virtual drive that I just ended up doing auto mounting and such like that. Now, uh, if you want to, you can also just end up just using a external uh, CD drive too. So if you have an external CD drive, like uh, external hard drive, external CD drive, you can go ahead and do the same thing. You can basically do put it, plug in your disk. I mean, if your people have wanted to and such like this is an example of a disc hard of a external hard drive uh external hard drive external c d drive or d v d drive in a sense now there is internal ones too they come in a five five and a quarter inch and a and a slimmer version as well, but this one will probably do you best because it's portable and you can bring it along with your other p c s Macs and such like that now to get on with the installation, let's go ahead and look at the setup files right now. Now remember, remember you guys. This is for the original PC game of mine. This is not the Gaming Dragons version. It's not any of that. It's not the Gears of War Ultimate Edition for sure. Because I still, I mean, if you haven't noticed, I actually haven't bought the game yet either. That's why it still has the price of thirty dollars. My friend does though, so that's nice. And then obviously, I am actually running the Windows Anniversary Edition to make sure that everyone knows because this is actually the new user account control of uh, prompt that they get here. So you can actually see some new prompts. You can actually see something about publication certificate change when the notifications appear. It's really nice. The anniversary edition, anniversary update of Windows 10 is actually useful. So if this installation works, I'll be surprised actually, in my opinion, because. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to work, but you never know. This is the original Gears of War, so let's see what actually happens. So I'm not sure. And it's even telling me this app might not work with me. This Gears of War is not compatible with this version of Windows. Interesting. So let's let's go into the options. Let's go into the installation. Let's let's just see what happens. So let's not run Gears of War after an install. I don't know about the editor, so I don't need about that. So uh, let's see about that. Disk space. This should be okay. So let's just go continue on with this installation, and let's see what happens. So accept, yeah, I need to accept, 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 yeah, blah, 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 so I'll show you that. All those kinds of good things. Now, I might just end up skipping this just to go straight to the installation, but uh, I can't seem to find my installation, actually, if it actually is even loading. Where is it? Uh, where's ah? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it is already updating. It's already updating component registration. Um, this is not going to take a while, so I will see you guys when this installation is done. And we are back. Okay, so that installation took a little bit longer than expected. The decompressing files apparently took a while for inst for like the installation itself. I took maybe it took about maybe 15, 20 minutes or so. So that that was a long wait, but. 
It says here, installation has been complete. It has been installed on my computer. But I'm not going to run the game yet. I'm not going to launch it yet because of the fact that uh, we need, for first thing, we need to patch the game first. So in order to patch the game, uh, you need to go down to this link in the description. It's actually in the Gears of War forums. And they have actually updated their forums since the last time I did this uh, video. So I lost uh, most of the links to the downloads, to uh, to most of the patches and other things. Now, what I did find, though, is uh, as soon as I found this link again, it took me a while to find this one because, it, uh, at, like I just said, after it fixed the... Uh, after it fixed the forums, the, uh, the forums itself, I actually had to figure out where the download file is. And I found it in here in the media file right here. So if you look down here, the, li the links that I actually have highlighted, I'll put it in the description of this video as well. So if you go to it and you hit paste and go, uh, it will ditch you to this uh, galpc.tu, which is basically, they call it the title updates of zip, of a zip file. Now with a zip file, now remember with a zip file, you have to compress it or decompress it and extract it from the actual archives. So what I obviously what I did is I just left it inside my folder and you now you have three different uh, files. You should have the Gears of War title update, Gears of PC TU3 Microsoft update and the Gears TU. Now there is a specific order that you need to install these in. That's that's how the patches work in this game. In this case what will happen is according to what he says uh, according to uh Mark Rockoff, I can't say his name, but you see the point. Draza Tech actually has the link towards where this person has the links in, but if you can't, I'll have that media file link later. Anyways, anyway, so here we have uh, Gears of War title update. Here's the thing. Now, the first one you do is says Gears of War title update, so that's the first one I'm going to run. I'll extract that. And I will go into. It will extract it to my Gears of War, uh, Gears, basically my Gears of War folder. So that's going to be the first patch I'll run. As soon as that is done. CDs, ROM, can't be anything. Places, okay. okay, so it looks like it's actually asking for ill. Let's see. I'm going to run the patches first and see what happens. I'm going to figure out what's that error, but uh, it's saying that my error is that they can't find the CD drive where the actual game is, but that's okay. I'll figure that out later. Okay, so we have that one. We have Gears to, Gears to you to do, so we'll do that next. And we're going to get that patch to go through. Let it update the installation files that is in your program files x86 because I am running the 64-bit version of Gears of War. So same thing, same error. So that might be a problem later, but we'll figure it out later. And then finally, the last one, the Gears PC title update 3. We'll update one, update that one, see if it gives me the same error, which it might will. Please insert the correct DVD. Okay, so it is asking for the same ROM. So what it's asking is... Is the disk installation, or is basically is this installed on the onto the computer? If you, it needs to be running, the CD needs to be running in order for this game to work. But in my case, since I'm not, because I'm using a virtual file and mounted the virtu uh, mounted the ISO of the game itself, you need to go and download what they call a no CD crack, which is under the game fixes down here. Now, under the game fixes, there's multiple versions of this game, but the one you want is obviously the up, the very, very latest updated one, which would be Gears of War version 1.2. Now, between Multi 3 and Multi 5, honestly, try to pick the Multi 5, because under if you see here under the game releases, you see that Multi 5 actually has the English retail DVD version and such. Now, Multi 3 does the same thing too, but it's not it's not going to be the one with the English version on it. So, make sure you get Multi 5, actually, then. My, 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 my mistake. Make sure you get Multi 5... And that'll be the one that's like right here as I have highlighted. The, basically the one that's highlighted. I'll have this link down in the description as well too. So especially if you have your vi as your installation as a ISO file, that you're gonna have problems. You're gonna have issues with that anyways. Okay, so now that, so once you have downloaded that particular file, which also you need to extract, so make sure you have extracted. In my case, I have here the startup exe file. So in this case, the startup exe file correlates to the startup exe file of your of the gears of war installation so under under your program files x86 because i'm running the 64-bit version of uh my windows 10 it should be under microsoft games which should be and then there's gears of war now here's multiple files there's multiple things that you need to go through but if i remember correctly it's under the binaries that you need to go to which will have the setup start war game gsc that live now this is the actual startup exe of the game itself if I actually go ahead and copy this and save it somewhere where I know for sure that I'll pick it up again just in case I need to uh, replace it again. Now, if I go there, I go ahead and go to... Oops. There, there's that Windows 10 going around there. 
Now I need to look at the installation to make sure. Place the original software with the one in the file archive. Okay, so it's saying so what the the description is saying is make sure you go replace the original startup exe file with the one with the fund of file archive. I guess it's under the binaries, as I don't remember where start oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, startup exe is actually in here. My bad. Okay, so after that after that little thing, so copy go ahead and uh if you want, go ahead and copy the startup exe file and then let's say put it onto might as well put it up in here. I already, ha but I already have a backup, so that's fine. So no problem about that. But if you don't have a backup, make sure you back up that exe file and then rename it. That's like I hear, like it says, startup backup. Once you do that, go ahead and copy over the new, the no CD crack startup exe file. Copy that, put it into the binaries, and go ahead and hit paste again. Now, obviously, my file is a little different. That's why I might have tear copy going through here. So now my startup exe is updated. The game itself should be updated itself. Uh, let's go ahead and see if the game would run, actually. So let's go ahead and start up Ge uh, Gears of War, actually. Oh, I can't find Gears of War. So let's do it Do it the old-fashioned way. Go go through the, the startup EXE. Okay, good. Looks like the game goes through here. I am willing to participate. Why not? Game updates can be automatically live when you download the games of Windows Live version. Okay, so it's asking for the games of Windows Live update, but I don't, I, I don't have it installed. The client itself installed yet, which we might need to. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens here. Now I don't know what's actually going to happen, so let's, I, let's go see if the game would initialize. Oh, look at that resolution, though. <laughs> It's running at a good old 800 by 600 resolution, my friends. That's not good. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and see if I can fix this issue, because that's a major issue where I can't go anything. Let's go, into, let's go into graphic settings, go into video game settings. I can't see anything. Let's go ahead and change that to... Should be 1080 is to be the max. I lost audio for some reason, but that should be okay. And I'm just gonna max. This. Let's go. let's just go ahead and max this out. Go ahead and max everything out, cause you know this game's you know it's, it's almost ten. It's basically ten years old and such, so it's not really much of a problem here. So let's just max this all out. V sync. We might as well turn. Uh yeah. I'll leave it. Out. I'll leave. I'll leave that off for now. I'll leave it off for now, just for patch sakes and such. So let's figure this out later. So go ahead. If I hit escape, I can't, I can't even hit escape actually. Yeah, I can't hit the escape button, and it is locked. Okay, so I think I do need the Windows client because uh, it's not letting me save any of the client files. So let's go ahead and get that uh, installation out of the way once I somehow find a way to get out of here. Okay, Alt-Tab did work. That's okay. That's a good thing. Okay, so Alt-Tab works. So the Games for Windows Live Marketplace client I do need. So go ahead and let's just download it somewhere. I already have. I probably had to download it download inside that folder where I had all the Gears of War stuff already, but it's okay. So let's go ahead and install all this again. Let's go see if I can actually find myself in the game. I'm not entirely sure if that this will work, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here because I do have two. I do have two accounts. I do have uh, two Windows accounts for this. So I'm not sure if this will work. Uh oh. Okay. Well. Okay. Duh. All right. Retry. Um, but I am not entirely sure how this would work, to be honest, because, frankly, with the amount of installations, things I've been going through, I have no idea if this will work. So, let's go ahead, let's launch that again. Uh, I need to go find my, my stuff for Lena. Give me one second. Uh, okay, so, I guess we can, well, let's try, let's try the gains for Windows, like, gains for Windows thing first. Let's see if I can even log in. Sign in with your live associated ID, blah, blah, blah. I but uh, even remember my ID to this game because I, I remember having a PC uh, PC account just f specifically for this kinds of things, but I'm not entirely sure what it is actually. Um. Okay. Well, let's go see what happens here because I don't remember what I have here installation wise, but uh, I can't remember my password right now. So, um, I will be right back and we'll continue on with this video. Okay, so I got my installation and got my account going in there. Good, good enough for me. I have to go find my Gears of War folder again because I forgot where I put it. Now, I, according to what I just did, in theory, it should have the installation should have worked. So let's go ahead and go back to the startup exe file again. 
yeah, someone to participate. Let's try playing. Let's hit the play button again and see what happens this time. Now, my, my Microsoft account should be lo- automatically logged in this time. So hopefully the hopefully this time should be okay. But I'm not entirely sure yet. So. Uh, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. Skip unskippable intros. I love it. All right. Well, you you can go ahead and look at this. The good old style Microsoft. All all the good stuff and things. So let's see if I can remember. Ah, there we go. Okay. So if I hit the home button on the Games for Windows Live, should show up. Uh, I don't need to participate in that. Use existing live profile. Um, okay, if my password is the correct one, I should be able to get in, should be get able to get in with no problems at all. That's why I was having major issues, uh, trying to play and such, mainly for the fact that I need to sign in. And product key is where? Remember, I, I had a product, I had a product key here somewhere, you know, but I'm not showing you guys. At least I don't need to show you, at least. Well, if I did show you, then that would be a major problem, and I can't do that for you guys, at least. <laughs> Alright, so in that case, I'll just hide the screen for a little bit. Do 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 do. Inserting key, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah. get the key. Uh huh, blah blah. blah. Alright, get. It. Hey. Uh, I got my key. I just copy and paste. We're inside the game now. Uh, I just what had to do a quick uh, couple you adjustment out. changes, here, and it does indeed You'll work. It. The game does indeed work. Uh, home screen, obviously, for the Gainser Windows. That's so. Basically, what happened is for Gainser Windows Live, you need to have a well Microsoft account for one thing. And there's a patch in there that you need to download that will update your game and also allow you to change the settings. That's probably what, that was probably the main reason why I couldn't change any of my graphical settings, but if you lo- if you notice the game is actually running, which is fine this. with me. Um, not my anymore. game isn't stretched Things out for some reason. Not entirely sure. Why. We better go. What about the, the other the, prisoners? The, the, the game catches a little bit there, but they're gone. Half the nope. part Let's see. Let's just play the original right. game. That's Welcome all it back is. to the army soldier. Shit. Still the game does still look beautiful for our standards nowadays at least. Way better than, obviously not the way better than Gears of War Ultimate Edition for sure, but same thing. You gotta, you gotta like the differences and such. I don't remember if there was a cog tag in here, but we've got two options. We can go back the way I came through the guards' quarters. It takes time, but it's safe. Or we can go through the prison blocks and get right into the fight. Your choice. Uh, eh, all right, let's go back to combat. Let's take the prison blocks. I'm ready, I'm ready to, to kick, kick some ass. ass. Hell yeah, let's do it. Well, you know, for a game that's running this old, it still looks pretty beautiful, honestly, in my opinion. Route, over. Uh, I might have some scan lines, but I think it's just a V-Sync issue, so let's just go ahead and... Sh- I think I can change that. Oh, no, I can't change the graphical settings. But anyways, there's a, I think I have a V-Sync issue, but it's okay. Fox, one, Fox, one. Issue. But it's okay. Game still looks pretty much fine. Six, four, Delta two. Hold your fire! Cock tags going inside the running, prison. Running, Over. Shiny thing. Roger that. Hold Works pretty fire. well. I like it. You ASAP. Man, let's go man, kill off some grubs to get you. Little I video some tutorial. Deep shit. Come on. If you go. notice though, Windows 10 does work with games right now. Honestly, but it works with all the games I have, especially some of my later my older titles and such. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this little video of mine. Uh, if this tutorial did actually help you out. Uh, Leave a like hey, down below. You're the one leave that a comment. To go this your way. choice. If you have any other problems, hit me up at Diamond Rice at Twitter and also in the YouTube comments. All right, Come I'll on, see you guys man. soon. Let's continue on and let's play. Nice. What the hell's been going on in this prison? You don't want to know. Ground units are taking heavy fire. We have hostiles in all directions. Ring ring. Take cover. Grab the grenade. We are 
Okay, I think we're good. Let's grab some ammo. Marcus, they're cutting through the door. Take cover. Take cover! 